Good morning to everyone. Good morning, sir. Good morning. So, so in this class, I'm going to discuss with you periodic functions. So before that, I'm going to solve one more problem in Laplace transform. Uh, actually, I shared this problem in the WhatsApp already. Maybe some of you saw uh, this problem, which I will repeat you. Find the Laplace transform of the following function. Find the Laplace transform of the following function of the function okay, of the function f of t equal to modulus of uh, t plus 1 plus modulus of t minus 1 where t greater than or equal to 0. Okay. So, so we know that uh, modulus of x is equal to x if x is greater than or equal to 0 and which is equal to minus x if x is strictly less than 0. So now I am going to split this interval that is a t greater than or equal to 0. Actually this is t greater than or equal to 0. Uh, split this integral into two integrals. <coughs> depending upon uh, here you have t plus 1 here you have t minus 1 okay so suppose if this t lies between 0 and 1 0 and strictly less than 1 then what about the modulus of uh, t plus 1 so okay first what is t plus 1 what is t plus 1 so this is greater than 0. The reason is t is greater than 0 and less than 1. So t plus 1 should be greater than 0. And t minus 1. When t lies between 0 and 1, t minus 1 is negative. Now, using the definition of mod x is equal to x when x is greater than or equal to 0, and mod x is equal to minus x when x less than 0. Now I am going to write, therefore, modulus of t plus 1. So modulus of t plus 1, when x is greater than or equal to 0, mod, mod x is equal to x. So mod t plus 1 equal to s to t plus 1. And modulus of t minus 1. This is less than 0. If less than 0, mod x is equal to minus x. So this is minus x. x is t minus 1. Okay. Now, f of t. What is f of t? f of t equal to modulus of t plus 1. Modulus of t plus 1 is just t plus 1. Plus modulus of t minus 1. Modulus of t minus 1 is minus of t minus 1 then t lies between 0 and strictly less than 1 so therefore our f of t is equal to you can write this is t plus 1 minus t plus 1 so which is equal to 2 so when uh, t lies between uh, 0 and 1, strictly less than 1. Okay. 
So now, so the next case, because our t is greater than or equal to 0, so I found f of t when t lies between 0 and 1. So next I am going to find when t is greater than 1. I am going to find what is f of t. So if t greater than or equal to 1. So again, what is uh, what is t plus 1? What is t minus 1? That is my question. So what is t plus 1 which is greater than 0? Because t is greater than or equal to 1. And t minus 1 is when t equal to 1, it is exactly 0. That's why I will put greater than or equal to 0. Otherwise, it is strictly greater than 0. Okay, so therefore, mod t plus 1 is equal to t plus 1 because it is greater than 0. And, and modulus of t minus 1, this is also greater than or equal to 0. That's why modulus of t minus 1 is also it is t minus 1. So therefore, our f of t equal to modulus of t plus 1 plus modulus of t minus 1. Modulus of t plus 1 is t plus 1. Modulus of t minus 1 is t minus 1. So you will get 2t. So f of t equal to 2t if, if t is greater than or equal to 1. So now I can write f of t which is equal to 2 in the, then uh, t lies between 0 and 1. And f of t equal to 2t if t greater than or equal to 1. So now I got f of t. So now remaining thing we need to find the Laplace transform of f of t. So L of f of t is equal to integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t into dt. Now we need to split the integral into 0 to 1 and 1 to infinity. 0 to 1 e power minus st. So in the interval 0 to 1 it is 2 plus 1 to infinity e power minus st. So in this interval it is 2t dt. So remaining part is just integration. The remaining is integration. So 2 into to integrate e power minus st, you get e power minus st by minus s. Limit is from 0 to 1. Here 2 is constant. Uh, you can use a Bernoulli's formula for integration. Just uh, I am taking t is uh, u and e power minus st is v. So t, keep t as it is. If you integrate e power minus st, you get e power minus st by minus s minus. If you differentiate t, you get 1. If you integrate e power minus st by minus s, you get e power minus st by minus s, again minus s, so s square. And the next time, if you differentiate 1, you will get 0. So 1, 2, here, uh, yeah, it is here, 1 to infinity, yes. So this is equal to um, minus 2 by s, upper limit is 1, e power minus s, minus uh, e power 0, 1. Okay, plus 2 into e power minus infinity is 0. Similarly, e power minus infinity is 0. So, upper limit is 0. So, 0, upper limit is just 0. That, that's why I put 0. And then minus lower limit. The lower limit is what? t equal to 1. You have here 1. 
e power minus s divided by minus s here have minus sign t equal to 1 e power minus s by s square okay now this is equal to uh, 2 into minus 2 into e power minus s by s plus 2 by s and then minus 2 into e power minus s by s and then plus 2 into e power minus s by s square so we can cancel uh, Upper limit is zero. Okay. Here, so please check whether I did any mistake. Sir, we should minus C. Minus A. Uh, Sir, the uh, minus C power minus C. Here, A. Uh. Yes. Yes. Yes, sir. Yes. Yeah. Okay, I missed this minus. Okay. So, so if it is here, it is minus, it is minus into minus plus. So I think you can cancel these two. We cancel these two, what is remaining? Okay, thank you. Uh, 2 by S plus 2 into E power minus S by S square. So this is the final answer. So next uh, I am going to uh, Laplace transform of periodic function. So this is somewhat important section at some point of view also. So first, uh, you know what is a periodic function? Okay. So a function f of t is said to be a periodic function. Uh, if there exists a constant of p greater than a positive constant such that f of t plus p equal to f of t for all values of t. So from this we have f of t plus p, p. you can write uh, f of t plus p, uh, if you want to write f of t plus 2p, okay, that is equal to f of t plus p plus p. We know that uh, it is a periodic function at the period p. So now you can write this is equal to because of periodicity p this is equal to f of t plus p and then again it is a periodicity p this is f of t plus p equal to f of t so from this we have f of t plus 2p equal to f of t similarly f of t plus n p is equal to f of t where n is a uh, integer it may be positive or negative so here p is called period of the function so it's unlike the other functions uh, whose laplace transform are expressed in terms of an infinite uh, uh, sorry in terms of an integral over semi infinite integral so usually we define the integral uh, for laplace 0 to infinity okay so the Laplace transform of periodic function of periodic function f of t with the period p can be expressed in terms of uh, in terms of an integral e power minus st into f of t. The integrand is same over the finite interval instead of the in, in semi-infinite interval, okay, well, 0 to p, not 0 to infinity. Okay, so that is the main difference here. So the statement of the theorem is if f of t is a piecewise continuous a periodic function with the period t, then Laplace transform of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus p s integral 0 to p e power minus s t into f of t dt. So, first uh, I will give the proof for uh, this theorem. 
and then sometimes they will ask in the exam also so that's why first i need to give proof so first i will start from the def uh, definition of laplace transform <coughs> l of f of t equal to integral 0 to infinity t power minus st f of t into dt now i am going to split this integral into 0 to p e power minus st into f of t dt plus p to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt I consider this is equation one. Now, now I am going to consider only the, the second integral. Okay, so in the second integral, in equation one, I am going to substitute t equal to x plus p. So now uh, here t is uh, varies from t to infinity. So when t equal to t, what is x? When t equal to t, zero. Zero. Is equal to zero. Yeah. And similarly, when t equal to infinity, x is equal to infinity. And I need a dt also, dt equal to dx. So once you know this, now I am uh, ready to find t equal to p to t equal to infinity uh, e power minus st into f of t into dt, that is a second integral equal to now it varies from x is equal to 0 to x is equal to infinity e power minus s t equal to x plus p into f of t what is t again x plus p into dt dt is dx now e power minus s p is constant you can take out of the integral Again, f of x plus p equal to what? f of x. Yes, f of x. Okay, I think uh, Chaitanya, uh, you are right because uh, the reason is f is, p is uh, period definition. Period p. Okay. So this is equal to integral x is equal to 0 to infinity uh, e power minus. I told that uh, I need to write e power minus sp here. Okay, it will uh, x is equal to 0 to infinity e power minus sx into f of x into dx. So here you can write since f of x plus p equal to f of x. The reason is so if the function is periodicity with the period p. So now uh, instead of uh, x, I am going to change the dummy variable. You can change either y or z. Okay, so I'll change as to again t equal to zero to infinity e power minus t f of t into d. So here you can write the reason changing the dummy variable from x to So now I'm going to substitute this one in. Uh, okay, so you can write one more step also. E power minus sp. This is a Laplace transform of f of t. Because here we have zero to infinity e power minus st f of t dt. I call this is two. Okay, well, left hand side is what? Left hand side is t equal to p to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt. 
Okay. So now I'm going to substitute the value of this integral in equation one. So one implies so substitute two in equation one. We have what is the left hand side? L of f of t is the left hand side. Right hand side, the first integral is what? 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. 0 to t e power minus st f of t dt. Actually, this is the second integral. This is equal to what? e power minus st into L of f of t. Now, group these two. Okay, so if I take this on the left hand side. Then, if you take commonly L of f of t, you have what? 1 minus e power minus sp. So, L of f of t, if you take commonly, remaining is what? 1 minus e power minus sp. Right hand side is integral 0 to p e power minus st f of t dt. So I need L of f of t. So that is equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus sp integral from 0 to p t e power minus st into f of t dt. So, so proof is over. So, sir, yeah, please tell me. Can't we do like uh, do like sum of GP terms also? You can prove us with this. Sorry, sum of GP geometric progressions like this also. Like this also, you can prove us with this. Theory. Yeah, yeah, you can do it. You can do it. Anyway, you can do sir in it, Jim. From from which step you are you are using? You want to use? No, not in this sir. Like if uh, you take any continuous function, means we can write sum of n terms now, sir. Like GP. Ah, yeah. Like yeah, this also can prove I'm saying we can do an exam. I'm asking, sir. And the examination, it is better to do by this method. Huh? Oh, okay, sir. Uh, okay, if uh, uh, okay, you will send to me the proof, I will check it. Okay, but it's my suggestion is it is better to buy this because this is a prescribed uh, method, it is in the book. Okay, okay, sir. Okay, sir. okay, okay. okay. Yeah. The alternate method is, uh, if you know, it is very good. Okay, first please send to me. I will check it. Once it is correct, you can post in the in, uh, in the group. Maybe uh, uh, your classmates also will understand. It. Okay, that is your okay. 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 Thank you. So, the problem. So this is the first problem. Sometimes in the examination they will give the function okay wow. so find the laplace transform of square wave function f of t defined by f of t equal to k in the interval 0 less than t less than a it is equal to minus k in the interval a, a, a t lies between a and 2a and f of t plus 2a equal to f of t sometimes they don't give this function so find the Laplace transform of the square wave function, uh, which is uh, uh, in the in the diagram. So they will give the diagrams. So from this diagram, uh, you need to write what is f of t. Okay. So you should be ready for. Uh, suppose they ask, they give the diagram, then you should write the function. Okay. Here it is called the square wave function or mean the Okay, so there is one more name. So sometimes they will give mean there. Okay, so it is better to you should know both the names. So yesterday also we discussed the periodicity of this function is 2a. Okay, so you can see here the periodicity is 2a. And uh, from 0 to a, f of t is k. And uh, a to 2a f of t is minus k so here you can easily 
write the function f f of t and also you can easily find the periodicity p equal to 2e okay so now we will solve the problem so i'll i'll go to the next slide the solution k by s into tan h s a by 2 uh k by yes tan h s s a by 2 yes, by yes correct chaitanya va yes sir okay Okay. It is correct, but you need to wait. Okay. So Laplace transform of the fourth t equal to by definition it is what one one by one minus p power minus s p p is what two a so two a s okay I directly I am substituting. Okay, and first you should know this formula. Okay, so one by one minus e power minus s p p is two e. So integral zero to p p is two e into e power minus s p into f of t dt. So now this is one by one minus e power minus 2a s should split the integral from 0 to a because here here have 0 to a a to t a. so 0 to a e power minus st into k into dt plus a to 2a e power minus st into minus k into dt okay i think k is common here k by 1 minus t power minus 2s okay so if you integrate this you get what e power minus st by minus s the limit is from 0 to a okay now if you integrate this you get e power minus st by minus s Limit is from A to two A. Okay, now. So there is a minus sign. So minus K was there. Kira. Yes. Yes. Sir. Okay. Thank you. Minus. Okay. Now, it is equal to K divided by one minus e power minus two A S. If you substitute the upper limit, you'll get what e power minus S C A. By minus s minus uh, we substitute uh, zero one by minus s upper limit minus lower limit is over so minus into minus plus minus into minus plus e power minus two uh, a s by s minus e power minus uh, a s a or a s by s okay so now uh, okay the next step k by 1 minus e power minus 2a s uh, i will write first this term plus 1 by s and then minus e power minus s a by s minus e these two terms okay both of them are minus so you can write uh, two times minus two times e power minus a s by s minus two times e power minus a s by s and finally this term it is e power minus two a s by s You can take commonly 1 by s, so k divided by s into 1 minus e power minus 2a s. Okay, so what is the numerator? We have 1 minus 2 into e power minus a s plus e power minus 2a s. This is our form. 
a minus b whole square k divided by s into 1 minus e power minus 2as so a 1 minus e power minus as b is e power minus as whole square okay well, you can check it you'll get it this now uh, you can write the denominator in the form of uh, a square this is of the form a square minus b square so you can simplify further you can write this is uh, a plus b into a minus b so a plus b b is e power minus a s into 1 minus e power minus a s so now you can cancel one of uh, these so remaining you have k by s into 1 minus e power minus e power a s 1 minus e power minus e power a s divided by 1 plus e power minus uh, e minus a s plus e power minus a s okay but still you can simplify further okay so k by s you can write 1 minus e power minus a x by 2 divided by uh, e power uh, plus a x by 2 divided by 1 plus e power minus a x by 2 divided by e power plus a x by 2 and then take LCM is e power as by 2 minus e power minus as by 2 divided by e power as by 2 plus e power minus as by 2. So, so I think uh, Chaitanya told this is the tan hx. Okay, tan hx is what? A per x minus A per minus x, yeah. A per x plus A per minus x. Yeah, E power x minus e, e power minus x divided by, that is a sin hx by cos hx. Uh, e power x plus E power minus x. So this is equal to k by s into tan hx, x is a s by 2. So this is the final answer. Okay, so we will move to the second column. The second column is again here the function is not given. Okay, so here find the Laplace transform of the name of this uh, diagram is uh, function is sawtooth wave uh, function. The, I think here it is given periodicity, but you can easily find out the periodicity is 1. Okay, it's repeated like this. The periodicity is 1, and uh, here it is k. Okay, wow. So this is a 0, 0, this is a 1, k. So the slope of, uh, of this line is what? k. You can easily find so 0 comma 0 this end this is what 1 comma k so x1 y1 x2 the equation of this line is y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 by x2 minus x1 into x minus x1 so y minus y1 is 0, y2 is what? k minus y1 is 0 divided by x2, 1 minus x1 is 0, x minus x1 is 0. So you will get y equal to kx. But here 
t and f of t so y equal to f of t and x is equal to t so this implies instead of writing y equal to kx you should write f of t equal to f of t equal to k into t so once you find the function okay well, f of t equal to kt it is given here it is given here suppose if it is not given you should find out okay so now solution so l of f of t is what l of f of t equal to periodic function 1 by 1 minus e power minus ps integral 0 to p e power minus st into f of t dt. So now you can uh, write, we know that p is 1 here, p equal to 1. So 1 by 1 minus e power minus s 0 to 1 e power minus st f of t is what kt into dt. So I think uh, you can easily integrate this problem. Uh, so k by 1 minus e power minus s integration 0 to 1 t into e power minus s t into dt. So now you need to integrate this. Can anyone tell the integration? Next step. I will write power. Yeah, k by 1 minus e minus power e. minus s. Okay, please tell. T, t. E, power, e power minus ah. t by minus s. Okay, minus s. Minus e power ah. minus s t by s square. Yeah, 1 into e power minus s t by s square. S square. Okay, thank you, Srila. 0 to 1. So you get k by 1 minus e power minus s upper limit t equal to 1. So e power minus s by minus s minus e power minus s by s square upper limit is over minus lower limit t equal to 0. This is 0 minus e power 0 1 so 1 by s square so k divided by 1 minus e power minus s uh, you get uh, minus e power minus s by s and then minus e power minus s by s square plus 1 by s square so I think here you can stop, but you can group these two. K divided by 1 minus e power minus s. So 1 minus e power minus s by s square minus e power minus s by s. So this is enough. So there is no need to further simplify. Okay, suppose uh, uh, the question, uh, okay, if you know, you can tell. So suppose here you have 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. Suppose if you have 0, p, 2p, 3p, 4p, then uh, what is your function? Instead of uh, the, this point is origin. Okay, here you should take you should have one. You should take what p p comma k. So if it is p comma k means uh, x two x two is here instead of one you have what p. So you will get what y equal to k by p. Yeah, k by p into x. So your f of t equal to what k by p into T. Okay, so that is the one, that is the only difference. Okay, I suppose if you have zero p, two p, three p, then your function f of t is k by p into t. So please note down in your notebook, and you can uh, maybe 
I think the same idea. Okay, well, when p equal to 1, you will get f, f of t equal to kt. Okay. So, next problem find the Laplace transform of triangular wave function f of t whose uh, graph is given below. Okay. So, okay, this is a triangular wave. Okay. So, what is the periodicity? P equal to 2a. 2a. Okay. You can easily find it is 2a. Yeah. From 2a to 4a, it is repeated like this. So, first you should find the equation of OA. The point is again 0, 0. And this point is a comma a. So x1. Sir, y equal to t in uh, 0 to uh, a, sir. And a to 2a, y equal to 2a minus t. Yes, uh, correct, uh, Chaitanya. Very good. x2, y2. Okay, so first we will find the equation of oa. So y minus y1 equal to y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1. x2 minus x1 is a minus 0 into x minus x1. So you will get y equal to x. So y equal to x is nothing but y equal to what? f of t. Instead of x, you should take t. So f of t equal to t. So this is the equation of equation of oa. Okay, now equation of AB. So this is a comma a, this is a two a comma zero. So x one, y one, x two y. So y minus y1, y1 is a equal to y2 minus y1, y2 minus y1 divided by x2 minus x1 equal to x minus x1. This is equal to y minus a equal to minus a divided by a into x minus a. So y minus a equal to uh, a because you can cancel a plus uh, x, sorry, a minus x. So y equal to 2a minus x. So y equal to f of t, x is equal to t, so 2a minus t. So now you can write the next page, your f of t equal to T when T lies between 0 and A and 2A minus T when T lies between A and 2A. So now you are ready to uh, find the Laplace transform of this function. Suppose this function is given, you know how to do it easily. Suppose if it is not given from the diagram, you need to find out. So now, L of f of t. Uh, Sheila, please tell. Sir, t is equal to a, what will be the value of f of t? Sir? t equal to a, I think uh, both of them are, I think, same. You can okay. check it. OK, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. OK. So a and here also a. Yeah. Because it is a continuous function. So L of f of t equal to 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2a, yes, because the periodicity is what? 2a, here p equal to 2a. Originally, you have the formula 1 by 1 minus e power minus p, yes. 0 to p, p is 2a, e power minus st into f of t dt. Now, you can write 
I can split the integral into two integrals. One is from 0 to a. Here we have f of t equal to t plus a to 2a e power minus st into f of t is so 2a minus t into dt. So now integration. Okay. So I think uh, uh, please write this step. So anyone, anyone of them tell the integral of the first one. Okay. I will start from here. Okay. I don't want to write here because I, again I need to find the limits. So I'll write next page. So 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2as iteration. So t into, please tell anyone, what is t into uh, e power? Minus st by. Minus st by. Minus s. Okay. Minus 1 into. Minus 1 into e power minus st by s yes okay so this is the limit from 0 to a okay and then plus r you need to integrate you should keep a 2a minus t 2a minus t if you integrate e power minus st will get what e power minus st by minus s minus if you differentiate to 2a minus 2 you'll get minus 1 to integrate t power minus st e power minus st by s square the limit is from a to 2a so now limits so 1 by 1 minus e power minus 2as. If you substitute the upper limit, a into e power minus as by minus s. And then here, minus uh, e power minus as by s square. So upper limit is over. Minus lower limit t equal to 0, this is 0, minus e power 0, 1 by s square. So next, plus. Sir, 1 by s square into tan h s a by 2. Uh, 1 by s square into tan h a s by 2. Very good, Chaitanya, your answer is correct. And then I need to apply here upper limit. So 2a minus 2a, that is 0. Okay, well, minus into minus plus e power minus s, s, t equal to 2a. So minus 2a s by s square. Okay, so upper limit is over. Minus lower limit, t equal to a. Uh, so t equal to a means 2a minus a is a. Okay, a into e power minus a s divided by minus s. Mm. Okay, so I'll check it again. Here I think I'm substituting the lower limit minus a e power minus s a by minus s. It's correct. So minus into minus plus e power minus s a or a s divided by s square. Suppose if I done any mistake, uh, please point out. Okay, now, so I need to write everything in the next uh, slide. So here minus, uh, okay, minus one plus one by square, and then, okay, e power minus uh, two, okay. I think everything is, I feel it is correct. Uh, but uh, anything is cancelling, please check it. Yeah, you can cancel these two. 
Okay, but I will write in the next page and then I'll cancel. So that is equal to one by one minus e power minus two s minus a into e power minus a s by s. And then minus e power minus a s by s square. And then plus one by s square. And then plus uh, e power minus two uh, a s by s square. So can please tell the remaining two terms. So what is the remaining two? Plus a by s into e power minus a s. Last term minus e power minus a s by s square. Okay. So I think you can cancel this term and this term. Okay, so this is remaining is what one by one minus e power minus two a s. What is the remaining you have? One by s square. I will write one by s square uh, plus uh, e power minus two uh, a s e power minus two a s by s square. And then if you add these two. We we'll get two times e power minus a s by s square. So you can take commonly one by s square. So one by s square into one minus e power minus two a s. Numerator is one plus or one plus e power minus two a s. Into two into e power minus two s, or one by s square. You can write this is a square minus b square. So one minus uh, one minus e power minus s into one plus e power. Minus a s. The numerator is what? The numerator is uh, one minus a per minus a s whole square. Yes, correct. Yeah, thank you, Chaitanya. Whole square. So from this, you can cancel one of them. Okay, one minus e power minus a s by s square into uh, one plus e power uh, minus a s. I think the same situation we have in the uh, Uh, problem. I think so. Is it correct? Yeah, the yes, same. Sir. K by s. That is. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So K by s. But here, how one by s square? The same idea. So that's why I don't want to do it. So you should try and get the answer. One by s square. Tan h. Yes, but so if I done for every problem, so you will not try. So you should. Do some part, some work. Okay. So from this step to this step, we should refer uh, the problems. Uh, I think uh, there is a problem f of t equal to k and f of t equal to minus k. Okay. So now, now I'll go to move to next problem. I think the time is. Uh, I don't have. Okay. So just I'll give the idea. You can try. Okay. Sometimes, uh, uh, if this function is given, okay, no problem. Suppose the function is not given. Suppose this diagram is given, so you need to find this function. Okay, so this point is zero comma zero. This point is i comma pi. So, okay, and the periodicity you can easily find out from this uh, diagram. P equal to two pi. And the first you need to find this equation, and also you need to find this equation. So here it is given. You need to try. So I don't want to uh, do it now. So 
so try yourself and uh, if you got the answer you can post in the group so next problem this is half sine wave rectifier so but i will do this problem in the next class but we will discuss now okay uh, so what is a function can anyone tell sin x uh, actually sin omega t yeah you are right what is the periodicity i think here also there is a line yeah okay it's not visible to you so it is coming here from up to here okay and then 2 pi by omega uh, actually 2 pi by omega is the periodic periodicity okay and this point is 0 comma 0 this point is uh pi by 2 omega comma a and this is pi by omega comma 0 so f of t equal to when t lies between pi by omega to 2 pi by omega it is zero when t lies between zero and the pi by omega so i think somebody told a chaitanya told what what you told sin omega t a sin omega t yeah a sin omega t so actually this is a sin curve okay va so here we have a if it is here one then it is just sin omega t so if you substitute uh, uh, t equal to 0 okay va then f of t is also 0 if you substitute t equal to uh, pi by 2 omega pi by 2 omega then you will get a sin omega pi by 2 omega so omega omega cancel so sin pi by 2 sin pi by 2 is 1 you will get a so this point is a when you substitute pi by 2 omega you will get a similarly when you substitute pi by omega a into sin omega t t equal to pi by omega so omega omega gets cancel sin pi 0 so when you substitute pi by omega you will get f of t is 0 so this so that's why you will get uh, this curve so your f of t is correct okay now remaining part is you need to apply uh, laplace transform of a periodic function definition okay so i think i'll stop here but uh, i will do this problem the next class but you need to do this one and if and if you solve you can post in the group and also i will tell the answer for this problem you can verify the answer is uh, 1 by i will write here 1 by 1 minus q power minus 2 pi s into pi by s into e power minus 2 pi s minus e power minus pi s <coughs> so plus 1 by s square into 1 plus e power minus 2 pi s minus 2 into e power minus pi s so this is the final answer so you can verify and uh, for this problem also it, the answer is i will give the answer but i will do in the next class uh, omega a by s square plus omega square into 1 minus e power minus s pi by omega okay so i think i will stop here so if you have any doubts you can so ask to me the previous uh, question previous answer Okay. So the big thing is. 
before this. So that problem will solve. External? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you, sir.